If you could go and get Radon, you throw him into that rotation. He's tough. He's tenacious. He's the kind of guy you could put right in there behind Cole, be your number two. He makes everyone behind him better. But, John, you talked about it. The financial aspect of this is going to get heavy, and we've seen talk about a seven-year, $200 million potential for Rodon. How comfortable are the Yankees in swimming in those waters? We're going to find that out. As I said, I know that there have been conversations. We'll see what the next step in that process is. Jack, tell me if I'm reading this right. I felt like with Aaron Judge, the Yankees had to get this done, right? So you maybe you had to go to the ninth year, the extra money. Now with these other decisions that they're making, we've always talked about the Yankees and how they go about their business. Very disciplined. Can they continue to be that way? Or do you feel like they're going to have to overspend it's a great question flash and I think the Yankees are always disciplined and I think they have a number in mind with every player as to where they would want to go my counter to that would be what have we seen so far in this offseason we've seen more than two billion dollars spent every contract almost that we've seen we've thought wow that's a little higher than I thought it was going to be. And these are for really good players. I mean, you talk about Turner and Bogerts, both getting 11 years. I thought Judge might end up at about eight years. He gets nine years. So I think the Yankees are having those conversations right now about what is their comfort level with how high and how many years they want to go to for Radon. I know in talking to a baseball executive from another team today, he started picking off all of the deals that he liked the most in this offseason. Guess what? The ones that he chose were several of the ones that were for fewer years, which obviously benefits the team. We should also mention about Rodon, you always go into the offseason and experts make projections. They projected him at four years, $120 million. So that just underscores your point about how big the market has gotten. Had a conversation with two baseball executives in San Diego, and we were talking about Rodon. And the one executive for his team said that he would be comfortable going in the four or five year range. The other executive quickly shot him down and said he's going to get six or seven years and he deserves it. And then he talked about some of the other deals that have been signed. Rodon's only 30 years Years old he's a lefty you look at what he's done across the last two seasons we've talked about how Aaron Judge had a great season leading into free agency on the pitching side Rodon has done a really nice job soaring into free agency with the way that he has pitched recently so it's a matter of how many teams get involved how high does the number go and also flash Scott Boris is his agent and Scott Boris is someone who patience is a virtue for him he likes to dictate the pace of the negotiations. Now you have to talk about the this pitcher has had shoulder problems. He's had some elbow problems. So if you're an organization, that's a decision that your medical people have to make saying, okay, are those issues behind him? And we feel comfortable extending him to six years, seven years, whatever he is going to be asking for. That's not going to be an easy decision to make because of the health history. Then you start thinking about, are there any other starting pitchers out on the market? Nathan Evaldi is a guy who's pitched for the Yankees, has pits in big markets in Boston and New York. Could maybe you get him on a shorter-term deal? We haven't heard a whole lot about that, but he'd be an attractive guy that I would look at.